Today is the day Christians all over the world celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. This also happens to be the birthday of the oldest living alum of Mobile's former St. Peter Claver Elementary School and the former most pure heart of Mary High School. Roseanne Haven introduces us to a special lady who's done something very few ever have or will reach a 100 year milestone. Hi, hey, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. Well, centurion. How about <laughs> that? Happy birthday to you. Thank you, darling. Weighing only two pounds when she was born, December 25th of 1920, Jacqueline Rita Martin Rice wasn't expected to survive, much less thrive. She would become a cheerleader, a Mardi Gras queen, and among the first class of color to graduate from the cathedral in downtown Mobile. It's real beautiful to me, because I never thought I would live to see a black president I thought I would never live to see the um, first black mayor, Honorable Samuel Leon Jones. And it's, it's just so many things, you know, to be able to go sit down and eat wherever you would like to go eat. It's just been so many things that I've seen Roseanne it's come to pass. No matter what comes her way, she finds a way to be grateful and joyful. I'm a 31 year breast cancer survivor. Isn't that wonderful? She loves sports, music, and every now and then partaking in a little wine. Every now and then I take a little sip and they're sitting around and whatnot. And my daughter say, Mommy, you want a little wine? I say, I'll take a little, but I, I'm not a habitual. <laughs> no. <laughs> her secret to living a long life her faith, staying in touch with God. And how does she maintain her beauty? You have any beauty tips for me? Any beauty tips? Yes, ma'am. Yes, just just keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> just keep smiling and go on and think about the memories you've had in your life with your family and all. As the matriarch of Mel Shower's family, you see her here celebrating his retirement from WKRG in 2019. She fondly recalls growing up down the bay and spending summers with Mel's grandmother in the bottom. My little, that's a dog, darling. She had the best brown mullet, turnip greens, and cornbread <laughs> <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, she was so sweet. The years haven't faded those memories, nor her zest for life. And for all of us, whatever our Christmas looks like this year, she has a birthday wish that's timeless. I want them to remember what I'm saying today. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I want to wish them all love, love, love. That's what we need now. Because these trying times, and prayer, and let there be peace on earth to every good will. Mm -hmm. And I, I love each and every one, and I pray every night in my 11 o'clock mass to everyone and wish them all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.